everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is kate if you are not new welcome back to another vlog it's currently thursday it's 8 45 in the morning i'm getting ready to go to the gym we're gonna do 12 3 30 today since it's cardio day so i'm just brushing my hair which i never brush my hair but it's all like got crazy in the middle of the night from how i slept on it i think and it's just like all over the place. Like, do you see this? That just annoys me so much. I wish my hair would not do that. But today we are having a self-care day. Today's gonna be like a self-care day vlog. I've just been feeling very anxious recently and just not my best. I was kind of talking about this in my last vlog, but I just really want to take care of myself and have myself a little self-care day, treat myself, face masks eye patches which I'm actually gonna take off because they're pretty dried up now they've been on my face this entire morning since I got up so I figured I would take the opportunity and vlog it so we can have a self-care day together so that's what we're gonna do today I also need to put on some deodorant my mom got me this for Christmas in my stocking it's the native deodorant in yuzu and orange blossom scent I used to use this deodorant all the time, but I feel like it never worked for me. But for some reason, this scent, like I don't feel like I get sweaty throughout the day and I don't feel like I have to reapply it. So I really wanna get back into like no aluminum in my deodorant because right now I'm using one from Degree, which all of those ones have like really bad ingredients in them, but I really wanna get back into like natural deodorants and stuff so just put on some of this but gym outfit of the day i just have on a long gray t-shirt from aritzia aritzia sports bra and then i have aritzia flare leggings on and that's my gym outfit and my sneakers i'm pretty sure these are the new balance 530s i could be wrong but i will have them linked down below anyways these are so comfortable and they look so chunky and like they would be extremely heavy on your feet but they're so lightweight like it's crazy how light these are like there's no weight to them at all and i love going on the treadmill and like doing 12 through 30 in those they're so comfortable so that's the gym fit i also have to brush my teeth can't forget to do that I'm gonna spray my face this morning with my Tower 28 spray. I feel like my skin feels a little irritated this morning and a little red. This feels so good on my skin. And then I'm gonna put on some lip balm. My Rosebud Salve from Anthropology. A little pre-gym skincare, not too much. It also snowed last night, which I didn't even know it was gonna snow. Not a whole lot, but there's just like a dusting outside. So that was super pretty to wake up to. I'm gonna grab my headphones, my water bottle. I'm also gonna turn the TV off. I have the fireplace going from this morning when I woke up. So I'm gonna turn that off. I feel like these pants are very awkward length. I wish they were a little bit longer. I actually ordered another pair from Aritzia, which I got in the mail the other day and they are longer but i'm afraid that if i dry them they'll end up like this because i don't remember if these like when i first got them they were this short or if i dried them and they like cropped themselves i don't know but there's the full gym fit so let's go and do 12 3 30. So I just got out of the shower a little bit ago, washed my hair, I'm all fresh and clean, my skincare is already on. I'm actually gonna put on a little bit of makeup because that always makes me feel better. I'm gonna start and put on my Merit bronzing stick. I used my Dr. Jart little color correcting treatment instead of like concealer or my Merit stick just because it looks so natural and it's like my own skin. So I just like to put some of this on to bring some color back to my skin. I don't, I'm not even like going anywhere really today. 
or maybe we will, I don't know, maybe we'll take a little Target trip or I don't know. But I just love to do a little bit of makeup. I just want to look a little bit more presentable. But I'm going to blend that out with my Merit brush like I always do. And this bronzer just looks so natural. I also love to use cream products when I want like a very natural looking makeup. So I love this bronzer. I also am wearing a black sweatsuit. So the whole goal of not wearing sweatsuits every day is going really well, as you can tell. But we're just having like a lazy chill day today. So there's really no need to dress up. I'm gonna put in some brow gel. This is also from Merit. I always get so confused. I always think the applicator is in this side and that the product is in this side, which would work so much better since the side is so much bigger. But I'm just gonna run this through my brows so that they don't look crazy throughout the day. I'm gonna use this blush from Merit. I just realized I'm using like all Merit products right now. This is in the shade Cheeky. And again, it's a cream blush, which I just feel like they look so natural. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just put this all over my cheeks. Blush is like one of the one products I could not live without like makeup wise. I just feel like it transforms any look that you do. And like if I feel not cute, add some blush and that just does the trick. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of powder. This one is the Tatcha Silk Powder. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on my forehead, by my nose and like my chin area. And then for a little bit of highlighter, I'm using Merit in the shade Kava. Again, another cream product. This is just like my quick five minute no makeup makeup. And then I'm just gonna put on some more chapstick. I'm so excited because I made a lip appointment for Monday, which if you're new to my channel, I got lip filler back in May and it looks so natural, which I love. I'm pretty sure it's called Velour, Velour or Velour. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's like one of the more natural fillers and I feel like my lips have definitely like deflated since May when I got them done. So we're just gonna like touch them up a little bit. My appointment's on Monday and I'm like so excited because I don't know, I feel like they just don't look how they looked when I first got them done, which that was, how long ago was May? June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. So like eight months, that's crazy. So I feel like I definitely need a little bit of a touch up. So I'm excited to go on Monday. I go to Laser Med Spa which I know that they have a bunch of locations. So if you want to look into getting your lips done, I really like them there. They're all super nice. And again, my lips look very natural. Like it doesn't even look like I have filler at all, which is like what I want. I don't want it to look like I have anything done to my face, but my lips were very small. Not that that's a bad thing. Like I feel like we all get caught up in the whole comparing ourselves thing. I just feel like they didn't match like the rest of my face. So just a little plump. Hi vlog, so it's been a little bit since I last talked to you. It's 4.11 right now. I was editing a podcast episode that I recorded last night and it took me quite a while. So be on the lookout for that. It'll be going up Monday. So that's what I've been doing. For the past few hours i was also doing other computer work i'm actually gonna make a green juice right now i'm so excited i've been like craving green juice because i keep seeing it everywhere on like my pinterest on tiktok and it just looks so refreshing so i bought all of the ingredients when i went to trader joe's the other day i have green apple lemon ginger some kale coconut water cucumber and some celery i don't have a juicer but honestly a blender works just fine It'll probably be better too if you have like cheesecloth to drain like the big chunks if you don't want like a chunky green juice. Not that it would be chunky, but just like if it's not as smooth, you know what I mean? If I add a lot of coconut water, I should be fine. And I just really wanna get in the habit of having green juice like almost on a daily basis. I meant to make this way earlier in the day, but clearly got cut up with work and now it's four o'clock. So I'm gonna put in 
my kale first. I keep seeing like black fuzzies all over the place. It's from my sweatpants. I don't know why, but they're like shedding. And there's like black little fuzzies all over the place. I keep thinking they're like ants and it's freaking me out. I'm not gonna use a full lemon. I'll probably just use half. I really want to get a um, like little pitcher that I can make a bunch of green juice. That way I don't have to like make it every single day. Also these lemons are seedless, which is amazing. I don't have to take the seeds out. I got them at Trader Joe's and they're like naturally seedless lemons. I wish I had some orange to like balance out the lemon and the ginger, but it's fine. I'm only gonna do a little bit of ginger because I'm not the biggest fan of ginger, but I know it's really good for you. So I'm just gonna add a really tiny bit. Literally, I'm just gonna add that little tiny cube. I'm gonna put you guys right here so you can like see what I'm doing and like look at me. I feel like that's such a weird angle down there, but I'm gonna cut up my apple. I'll probably just do like half of my green apple. I'm supposed to get another Aritzia order in today. Shocker, I've been like ordering so much stuff from Aritzia and usually it would have come by now, but it's still not here. So I'm trying to patiently wait for that because I wanna do a little try on haul for you. I'm only using one little stalk of celery. Now I'm just gonna add my coconut water. I'm gonna add quite a bit of this since I don't want it to be chunky. I want it to be very smooth. I just have this one from Trader Joe's. I think that's good. Cheers to green juice, getting in our greens. I really need to get the cheesecloth because there's like all the little chunks in there, which is fine, but I have like a really big texture problem. So I really need to get the cheese cloth thing so I can like strain out any big chunks. Still really good though. It's very refreshing and it's like just the right amount of ginger. Anything more would have been like too spicy for me. My Ritzy package still hasn't come. I don't know why. I feel like they usually come before five o'clock it's like 5 30 ish right now and it's still not here i'm like obsessed with when a package is delivered and it's still not here so i am going to take a bath since we're having a self-care day baths are always nice and i also got a package from dr jart yesterday they sent me a bunch of skincare so we can try out some skincare together i love this brand but i'm gonna run the water Add in my bubble bath. I have my little bath tray that is from Target. We can light our candle. This is the Nest holiday candle. It's still not gone, which I'm kind of surprised because this candle is so mini and I light it all the time. But I'm so excited to just sit in the bath and relax and hopefully by the time I'm done, maybe my package will be delivered. I love just chilling in the bath, watching a little show on Netflix or just scrolling on my phone on TikTok. TikTok can be so therapeutic at times so i'm excited to take a bath right now i think i'm also going to exfoliate my body with my whey um scalp and body scrub that stuff smells so good i used it for the first time like the other week and i love it so let's run the water and take a nice relaxing bath Favorite time of the day, skincare time. I'm gonna try out the new products that I got from Dr. Jart. First, I'm gonna try the Skin Barrier Toner. I haven't had a toner in quite a while, so I'm excited to try this. It says it's for dry skin. The packaging is so cute. I'm gonna take a cotton pad, I'm assuming. I need a cotton pad with this. The bath was so relaxing. It's so funny. There's like this trend going around on TikTok of like, the sound is like slippers clicking against the floor and this girl was like me, nobody. And then it was like me at the age of 23 and she was walking around her house in her robe with a wine glass. And I just thought it was like the funniest thing because that's like the epitome of me. Okay, this is like a different kind of toner. I'm not gonna put it on with the cotton pad actually. It feels more like a serum. So that's interesting. 
but it feels super hydrating. I just thought that TikTok was funny because I love seeing people who are exactly like me, especially at my age, because sometimes I'm like, should I be going out more? Like, should I be doing more stuff other than being at my house all the time with my cat, doing skincare and all that stuff? But then I find people who are like me and it's just, it's like so comforting and funny. I'm going to apply my other skincare I normally do and then I'm gonna try out the moisturizing cream. I've never heard of the whole like skin barrier thing until Hailey Bieber's skincare line came out. Oh my gosh, that looks interesting. It looks like a clay almost. This also feels super hydrating. All of these products feel very hydrating, which I think that's what they're for. They're all like for dry skin and they're supposed to be like really hydrating products. None of them are scented either, which I love because I don't like to put scented things on my face really. And now I'm gonna try the eye cream. This feels so good. It's so moisturizing, oh my gosh. Okay, if you have dry skin, definitely try out these products. Lastly, I'm going to do a little face mask. This is the Skin Barrier Moisturizing Mask. So I think it's just a sheet mask. I also got this one, which I'm going to save for a different time. This looks really fun too. I'm about to look extremely scary. Look at how funny I look. I feel like brands should start making sizes to these sheet masks because this just like isn't working. It feels really good though. I just wish it was like more fitted to my face because I just feel like it's gonna slide off. How cute do I look? So it says to leave it on for like 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna just sit on the couch, maybe plan my day for tomorrow until it's time to take this off. I also wanted to mention this cream that I've been putting on my heels after I get out of the shower. My mom randomly bought this at the grocery store because someone left it behind. Like, I don't think they wanted it anymore. My feet have literally never been softer. She ordered me one from Amazon and you just put it on like twice a day. I usually do it once a day, but I just put it on right now since I just took a bath, but seriously, if you have dry feet and dry heels, you need to get this stuff. It works so well. Like my feet have never been softer and my heels always get so dry and cracked no matter how many times I put like regular moisturizer on them. This stuff is really, really good. So I will link it down below if you have dry feet. I feel like we all have dry feet. It's just like a part of getting older. So I will link this stuff down below. It's so good. Hi vlog, it's now the next day. It's Friday, it's 5.30. I just got back home from being at my mom's all day. We spent some time together. I also went to my Nana's house and now we're back home. My Eritzia order came like late last night. I think it came at like 7.30, which my packages never come that late. So I was kind of surprised, but I didn't want to end up the vlog without showing you what I got from Eritzia since I was kind of like hyping up my order. So I wanted to show you what I got. First of all, don't mind the mess in the background. There's literally so much stuff that needs to be put away. Stuff on the counters. I have like a whole pile of clothes over there that I need to fold and put away. But first up we have this t-shirt and then these sweatpants. Both are black. Are we surprised? Probably not. This t-shirt is just like a cropped, really boxy like boyfriend style t-shirt and I got it in a size medium. I just like the oversized fit and I also like to wear t-shirts like this when I go to the gym like over my sports bra sometimes and also they're just like comfy to lounge in even to sleep in. So I really like this t-shirt. It's from TNA which is my favorite brand at Aritzia and then these sweatpants I didn't realize I ordered a size up by accident but I'm actually kind of liking the really oversized fit I think these are called the boyfriend sweatpants I'm not really sure but I just tied them around my waist so they wouldn't fall down they're also really long on me I'm only 5'3 and I struggle with finding pants that like don't go below my feet but I can just cup them or something but really cute really comfy outfit I don't know I'm like really liking the oversized look of these sweatpants i think they're really cute next i have this white long sleeve which is really cute it's like cinched at the 
on the sides, which I think is really cute. This is also from TNA, and also I just don't have like a white fitted long sleeve like this. You guys probably think I'm such a hypocrite because I keep talking about like amping up my style and not wearing joggers and stuff, but I really just wanted to get new basic pieces because all of my basics are from years ago from Aritzia and I just don't like the way that they fit and look on me anymore. So I'm trying to like get rid of that stuff and then like replace it as well as buy like new cute stuff that I can wear like going out and stuff. So I know I probably sound like the biggest hypocrite, but yeah, this top is really cute. I just love the detailing of like the cinch. I feel like that just makes it that much cuter. And then these sweatpants, I'm pretty sure these are the mega sweats. Aritzia has so many different names for things, but these are like extremely mega. Like if you get these probably size down because I got my regular size. And as you can tell, like they're just like extremely big, especially the crotch. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure these are the boyfriend fit as well, but I don't know, they're really cute to like lounge around in and they're super comfy. So I'm just gonna keep them and not like exchange them for a different size, but they're just like so comfortable. I feel like a hip hop dancer with these sweatpants. They're so big, but they're super comfy. So I love them. My favorite part and the last thing of my order was this coat. This is the Babaton slouch coat. I'm pretty sure is the name. And I've been waiting to get this for so long. It's been sold out in my size for the longest time. And it was in stock the other day. So I grabbed it and I'm so excited. I don't have a black coat like this. I only have my one from Zara, but it's like a cream color. And you guys all know I love black. Also, are you supposed to cut this tag off? Because I keep seeing people say that you're supposed to, and then others say that you're not supposed to. So I don't really know, but I'm so obsessed with this coat. It is so cute. And I just feel so sophisticated when I wear coats like this, especially over such a basic and lazy outfit like this. I feel like it looks so cute if you have cute sneakers, a little bag, maybe a baseball hat, some sunglasses. I don't know, I'm obsessed with this jacket and it's really good quality. All of Aritzia's pieces are such good quality, which is why I love them so much because they will last you such a long time. Like all of my stuff that I have from like four years ago is still really good quality, even though I don't like the way that they fit on me. They're still intact and feel the same as when I got them. So I really love that about Aritzia, but this is my favorite part of my order. This is what I was most excited about. So I will link all of this stuff below if you want to check them out, but I just love this coat so much. It's so cute. I also stopped into Sephora and picked up a few things. So I'll show you what I got from there. They sent me, or no, they gave me the Olaplex number no. three hair perfecter, which I'm pretty sure this is the product that people talk about when they talk about doing like an Olaplex bun. I'm not really sure, I'll have to try that out. I've never had this stuff before. And then what I purchased was the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. I'm very excited to try this on days where I don't want to wear like my concealer or my merit stick. And I got the shade one, the lightest shade <laughs> because I'm so pale. But I've been seeing this all over TikTok and I really wanted to try it out. So I'll have to try it out in maybe like my next vlog or something. I don't want to put it on right now. But I got that and then I got a lip liner from Makeup Forever. It's in the shade, what shade? Limitless Brown and it's like a dark brown color. I have a lip liner from Rare Beauty in the shade Wise, which is like a brown color, but it's not. I can't sharpen it, which I don't like about that lip liner because it's not like super sharp and I don't know how to like make it sharp again because it's one of the ones that like twist up so this one I wanted to get because you can sharpen it. I kind of want to try this right now. Let's see. Okay, this is like the exact shade of brown that I was looking for. I'm excited. I feel like this looks terrible. Not the color, but like I was trying to overline them a little bit and make them look more plump. I don't know. I'm really into like dark lip liners like this, especially if I have like other makeup on. I know it kind of looks weird right now because I don't have any other makeup on but this, but I don't know. I just like love 
that like 90s vibe look. I don't know, I'm obsessed with that. It's like the exact color that I wanted. So excited about that, looks really cute. Probably not looks really cute to you. You're probably like Kate, that looks terrible, but I feel like if I had other makeup on, it would look cute, so. Don't judge, but I'm gonna take it off. Imagine, imagine if I went out like this. Hey guys, what's good? Okay, so I got that, and then the last thing I got at Sephora was a Tower 28 lip gloss. This one is clear, because I ran out of clear lip gloss, so it's in the shade Chill. It's just a basic clear lip gloss. I love Tower 28. Also, it's not sticky, so I love that. But that was all I got at Sephora. I also got a PR package from Youth to the People and they sent me like a bunch of skincare. So I'm excited to try out all the stuff they gave me. Niacinamide serum, cactus, oasis serum, and like all of these little face masks. And then this cleanser, the superfood cleanser, I used this like four years ago. Loved it, never bought it again because it was expensive. So I'm really excited about that. I am literally gonna run out of room on my skincare shelves. Like, look, I have four and they're literally fully stocked. I would love to have a skincare closet. That would be like, oh my gosh, a dream. Whatever house I buy one day, it needs to have a closet that I can dedicate my skincare to. So that is everything from Sephora. And yeah, so I'm gonna end up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my little self-care vlog. And I feel so much better today spending time with my mom as well as my Nana. They are like two of my favorite people ever on the planet and I love them so much. So I was happy I got to spend time with them today. So thank you again for watching today's vlog. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next vlog.